Oh, this is Iron Head 41. Uh, we're going to have a little fun today, do a little experiment on how to clarify water. Pond water, mud hole water. This old muddy water here is out of a mud hole. And uh, let's see if we can clarify it. Remember, this is not purifying it, just clarifying it. Getting all the particles out of it, the seam particles. You're still going to have to boil it to purify it. So let's pour it through a cotton t-shirt on a five gallon bucket with some holes in the bottom and a cork jar underneath. That's actually not very good. Pour too much in there though. That is not very good. Alright, t-shirt, no good. Let's let that drain out and let's try something different. Alright, that didn't work, so let's try something different. This is a 300 cup coffee filter. It will filter 19 gallons. The wind ain't cooperating. Try this big coffee filter. Let's go ahead and take it out. Let's see what we look like. Nah, that's still dirty. Alright, let's try an experiment. This is a what size aquarium is this? 20? 10. 10 gallon aquarium. One of them pet store aquariums with the things in the back outlets, and it has one of these, like what's in the bottom of a pool filter. Sand filter. Let's fill it full of pool filter sand. See if we can make a water filter out of it. Alright, first fail. <laughs> put pool filter sand in it. Put five gallon of clean water in it. See if sand will come out. Yeah, the water's coming out sandy. So I'm going to take that. I'm going to have to take the sand back out. Where the water goes in that nozzle, I'm going to put a sleeve off a shirt and put a rubber band around it to keep the sand from coming through. Looks like we're going to have to run about 10 or 15 gallons through this new bag of pool filter sand to get the sand dust out of it. So it's getting clearer as it comes. I'm going to pour that out and put some clean water in it and keep on trucking. Alright, when that gets done, we got a five gallon bucket of muddy water. I'm going to keep this jar out and see what it looks like before and then put a new jar under it for after. See if it clears that muddy water up. That is from a mud hole. Alright, I poured half of this five gallon bucket of this muddy water. Let's see how it comes out. Boy, that's nice and clear. Look at that. Clear, dirty. Doggone, that works great. Alright, I'm really proud of this filter. Made out of aquarium with plumbing fittings on the side out of a pet shop with pool filter sand. That worked great. And it did a gallon in just minutes. Uh, fantastic. I think if you put a layer of charcoal and some more sand and do a few layers like that, I think uh, the charcoal will take the muddy taste out. Because uh, I don't care what you filter. If you filter mud hole water, pond water, uh, creek water, it's still going to taste like pond, creek, or mud hole. I think that was a success. I like it. Alright, well, that's it.